Welcome back to my series giving the top five best offseason moves from each NFL team. In this one, we have the Cincinnati Bengals. At five for the Bengals, I have getting Mike Gusecki. Tight end has been a big weakness for the Bengals recently. And they get Mike Gusecki for a super cheap deal. And he's shown that he could be productive wherever he is, no matter who else is in the tight end room. He should be the starting tight end day one for the Bengals. At four, I have drafting Chris Jenkins Jr. in the second round. I'll talk more about interior defensive line for the Bengals a little bit later, but this is what they did here. They, of course, lost DJ Reader in the offseason, and that's a big blow to them. But they get a guy in Jenkins Jr. who has a ton of upside, and they get him in the middle of the second round. And, of course, he's a winner being on Michigan last year. At three, I have getting Trent Brown from the Pats. Trent Brown's a little bit on the older side, but he's still a decent tackle, and they need to build up those tackles. You'll start to see a theme here. Offensive tackles and defensive tackles are what the Bengals needed so far this year, and that's what they did in the offseason. Here's another tackle to it here, drafting a Marius Mims in the first round. I truly believe that the Bengals wanted Byron Murphy from Texas in the first round. But once he went before the pick, they decided they were going to go with tackle, and I think Mims is a fine pick. He's still a fairly raw prospect, but I think he'll end up being pretty good in the league, and I like that they went position of need in the draft. And to fill up that D-tackle spot, they go with Sheldon Rankins. I have him at number one, of course. I really love Rankins, and I think a combination of him and Chris Jenkins Jr. is a good replacement for DJ Reader. Reader's an absolute stud, and there's no way around that, so they had to go and get some talented guys to fill the spot. Overall, the Bengals didn't do anything too flashy, but I always like teams that address their needs. Like I said, they needed offensive tackle and defensive tackle, and they addressed both those needs in free agency and the draft. But we still got to see what they're going to do with T. Higgins. Comment what team I should do next.